Let me paint a picture for you. So you are a budding esports competitor. You go to either your particular game of choices competition. Maybe you're a fighting game player, a CSGO player, or a Call of Duty uh, player. Any type of competitor, you'll go to your tournaments and there's something that you're probably gonna see. It's possible that you're going to see a BenQ monitor set up at all your stations to do your competing on. Maybe it's possible that you as a consumer and as a competitor want to do your training at home also on the same type of monitor. You'll do the very same competing at these tournaments. Well, today we're going to review the Zowie BenQ RL2460 monitors uh, that are perfectly set up for head-to-head -head matches. Um, and we're going to go over all the fine-tuned details and we're going to go over why this would be good for you to have in your house and why it's also good, maybe you're a tournament organizer, what the benefits of this monitor are. Guys, I'm Adam Ronan and this is a Ronan review on the Zowie BenQ RL2460. Okay, so the first thing you're probably gonna wanna know are the details of the specs of the monitor, what you're going to get when you make the purchase for this. So let's go over all the nitty gritty. Of course, you're gonna have a 24 inch screen. That's gonna going to be a 16 by nine, 1080p LCD display. Lightweight monitor, so it's not really gonna break your bank, especially if you're taking it to and fro different competitions. For ports, you've got some standard ports. You're looking at a dual HDMI input, a single HDMI output that will be perfect for your streaming and going to head to head here. Uh, you're looking at a DVI-D and D sub connectors as well as a headphone jack right on the monitor itself. And then of course, this puppy is stock full, a deep menu system with five context sensitive menu buttons for easy menu navigation. Of course, we have reflection reducing matte bezel and screen finish, as well as a 110 millimeter telescopic neck, which comes with a 45 degree swivel base, 90 degree monitor pivot, smooth monitor tilt, and you're looking at VESA wall mounting. Plus, what I think is super cool, it's a really insignificant detail, but your monitor LED light is on the side, which, is really kind of out of the realm of view. So a lot of times monitors have like your power lights that are right on the front, blinding you to death right from there. But they were conscious enough to put it on the side out of view and I just think it's a cool touch. So now let's get in a little bit more of the nitty gritty of the stat. So you're looking at 60 Hertz refresh rate, which is optimized exclusively for eSports. It's perfect for console, but it might not meet some of your needs if you're a PC gamer, something to think about. You also have a 0.26 pixel pitch, which makes for optimal clear viewing if you're at close distances, which you would be at a competition. This monitor also comes with a one millisecond gray to gray. Some other things that you might want to consider is this also has smart screen scaling for resolution scaling, if that's something that's important to you, as well as, of course, it has built-in speakers. The speakers in our testings weren't very impressive, but of course, if you're using this monitor, you're probably gonna be using headphones with it, and I think that they knew that, so they didn't put a lot of work into the speakers, but it's inconsequential for the type of monitor that it is. When you get into the robust menus and settings, there's a lot of stuff you're gonna find here, including head-to-head -head combat setup, fight game FPS settings. Now that's an exclusive preset that you're gonna get that I think is probably gonna appeal to a lot of you that are watching this video. You're also gonna get low blue light for extended viewing, you know, for your precious eyeballs. You're gonna get good scaling, black equalizers, flicker free, and a complete control of the wide R RGB color levels. Uh, you also get uh, FPS and other FGC presets. So this isn't just for fight game fans though there is some uh, nice settings for that. So there are a ton of options built into the settings of this. So really you could just go through and tune it to whatever suits your particular needs as a player. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that if you're gonna go to your local or you're gonna go to Evo or you're gonna go to any other tournament that those settings are gonna be the exact same on their monitors, but you can mimic the settings that they have uh, to uh, train specifically or match your specific style of play. So of course, the biggest selling point to these monitors is its head-to-head -head functionality, meaning if you have two monitors, you can effectively play head-to-head -head with your friend without both of you needing to look at the same screen. Boom, boom. But what better way to really showcase to you how easy it is to set that up than with a classic R24 80s montage.
down to who is this monitor for now if of course let's talk about the price point so you can get this monitor on Amazon for $219 thereabouts um, now we were in discussions with BenQ and they sent us a couple of these so we could uh, try this monitor out and do this review um, now you're always gonna run into quality issues uh, the risk of quality issues when you are buying monitors online and having them sent to you. Uh, one of the two monitors we got did have some dead pixel issues going on on the other ones. Uh, the other one was perfectly fine. So keep that in mind when making your purchases, but that's not a fault on BenQ. That's just something that happens with monitors all the time. Uh, just something that I want to keep on your forefront of your mind. One of our monitors did have a dead pixel, but yours likely will not. It's just a thing that happens when you buy monitors. <laughs> But really, who is this monitor for? Is this for you? Well, it depends. You have to ask yourself a couple of questions of what kind of gamer are you? Are you a competitive gamer? Now, I myself, I'm a casual gamer. I like to sit on my couch. I like to play my games in a casual setting, feed up, go for myself into story modes, and really just get at it. And when I am playing competitive games like fighters or shooters or something like that, it's still in a very casual sense. I have had my moments where I do go to tournaments and those have been fun moments, but it's not a passion of mine. So as just a casual gamer, would I still buy this? Well, in some senses, yes, because it is a nice quality monitor where you would get virtually lag-free play that is essential. But really, this is hammering home. If you're a competitive gamer, then this is an excellent monitor for you because you are, can mimic your tournament settings right within your home to really, I mean, when you are training and getting ready for a competition, you want to have the most accurate settings possible, and why not do that with the monitor that you'll be playing on likely at these tournaments? So that's really what hammers at home. Um, the head-to-head -head setup is good if maybe you are running your local and you're trying to get something set up. Well, the head-to-head -head action, as you saw in our montage, is very easy to set up and uh, works perfectly. Uh, there's we had zero problems when we were setting everything up for me and Gordy to play against each other in that casual setup. It was really cool. Um, but so really I would say if you're the weekend warrior or you're training for competitions all the way through, then yes, this monitor is absolutely worth every penny that you could find it for. Um, if you're just a casual gamer, it really just depends on what kind of quality you want. Because again, this is not a 4K monitor with HDR settings. So if you wanted to take advantage of your PlayStation Pro or you wanted to take advantage of your Xbox One X, maybe this isn't the monitor to do that. But if you're training to go to Evo or you're training to do your next Call of Duty tournament or whatever, and you're really serious about competing in video games, and esports, then absolutely this monitor is for you. Um, I, I have zero qualms with it, minus the, the only really only negative downside we had was the dead pixel issue that we had in one of the two monitors. That, that was the only downside we had. Otherwise, the functionality, the menu settings are so robust and exciting, um, and it's just the build quality is really, really nice, and I, I couldn't recommend it more if it fits your style. So guys, anyways, that is our review of the Zowie BenQ RL2460 head-to-head -head monitor setup. Um, pretty cool thing. I was excited about doing this review. Uh, Shout-outs to BenQ for uh, working with us and getting these monitors to us so we could do that. Um, and, of course, if you're just browsing through for monitors and this is your first time on the channel, <laughs> I think you know what to do. You're going to press that subscribe button. You're going to press the bell to be part of the notification squad, as all the cool kids are saying. And if you really want to help us out and you have the scratch to support a smaller channel, check us out on patreon.com slash r24. Get me at Twitter if you have any questions. I'm Adam Ronan. This is another Ronan Review, closing out at the sound of Gordy's voice. Oh! That's Gordy. He's behind the camera, and he's cool, just like you.